What's up guys? Dabu7 back at you once again and this time we got to talk about what's about to happen if Trump wins because they've just confirmed basically what we were suspecting was going to go down uh, on the live stream here just here in the past couple of weeks I've been hitting hard on the fact that the vice president is the one that signs off in all that after the election, similar to what Pence had to do with the whole Trump situation. Now, this is going to fall on Kamala. Do you think that she is going to certify the election and let Trump in when her whole party is geared toward stopping him? Now, the confirmation is a Democrat Raskin is on film stating what we were suspecting all along. He is saying that if Donald Trump wins the election, they're going to go to Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. And on January 6th, they're going to say he is an insurrectionist and that he is ineligible to be able to run. And if they pull this move off, which they look to do. They're openly speaking about it on camera. And I'll leave a link below where you can watch this video clip. The cat's out of the bag and what, and what they plan to do here. Many people feel this is going to spark something huge. Throwing around the word civil war and all this other stuff. And he's even saying on camera, Raskin is, that they're all going to need bodyguards when they do this. And they're very serious about this. So, two big things here that you need to realize. Again, Kamala is the vice. It is the vice that certifies all this like Pence did. And that's why people called him a Judas for what he did. Okay? Do you really think that Kamala is going to do that if she loses? Being butthurt and, and give it to Trump? Many people say no. What could be her valid reason? I just told you. Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. They're going to label him an insurrectionist. And the kicker is. J.D. Vance. Could become the vice president. If they hit 270. And by default Kamala would be the president. Because Trump. There would be no one else outside of them two. That would, could come anywhere near getting the numbers needed. And it could be Kamala Harris as president and J.D. Vance as vice president. And that sounds crazy. We go back to 1800. Was Jefferson Burr? Yeah, you'll see something similar happened. So, they're openly talking about it. The cat's out of the bag. We're just a few weeks out and I would get ready. I would get ready just for everything to kind of go, go chaotic. Just because it seems like that that is where they're taking this. And I'm going to break this down further on the live streams. Make sure to join me. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Right here. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. Follow me on X as well for updates. Hope to see you guys there, man. It's game time. Get ready.